Hello and a very warm welcome. In today's video we're talking McLaren and what a turnaround it's been for the Woking based outfit. This team looks the only team at the minute that's going to challenge Red Bull. Uh, it's been a stunning turnaround by McLaren from wanting to put the car in the bin, scrap the car, design a new one at Saudi Arabia. McLaren had a poor start but it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And at the minute, McLaren really are looking the only ones that could challenge Red Bull. Mercedes, Ferrari have had a go, but McLaren have been very impressive. The turnaround has been sensational. The first eight races, 17 points. The last eight races, 145 points. It's been a sensational turnaround. McLaren have a strong driver lineup with Lando Norris and Oscar Piastri. Probably like the second, third best driver lineup. But yeah, McLaren, it's great to see them back at the front, stepping on the podium. But the aim is to get back winning. Um, yeah, it's a strong driver pairing. They're pushing each other. So Lando Norris is on 115 points and lies 7th in the drivers. He's had a good season with four podiums I believe uh, yeah a podium at Japan a podium at Singapore a podium at Hungary and Silverstone Piastri stepped on the podium for the first time in Japan but he also did well in the sprint race at Spa what a turnaround it's been but the we can't get too hyped with just stepping on the podium for me I see uh, Manchester United and McLaren the same way, to use a football reference. You may not win it every year, but you should be competing. And that's where McLaren should be. They should be competing at least for the World Championship. you got to have your bar set high. Otherwise, what's the point in trying to compete? So, Lando Norris is 7th in the drivers. Oscar Piastri is ninth. Lando's actually ahead of George, but they're level on points. Oscar lies ninth. Now, he's had an incredible rookie year. Uh, ninth with 57 points. Yeah, uh, it's been good for Oscar. He's pushed Lando Norris at times, but yeah, Lando is a fair way ahead of him. I think it's quick maths. I think it's 58 points. So, yeah. But the big positive for McLaren is, with these points, they could, they genuinely could catch Aston Martin for fourth. Now, you go back to the start of the season, Aston Martin, uh, well, you say Aston Martin, Alonso was scoring podiums left, right and centre. And now McLaren have actually got a bit of a can carrot dangled. And they're going to chase that carrot. Because they're scoring so much points. I mean, look at the last race. 15, 18, that's 33 points. And Alonso's the only one scoring for Aston Martin. Who would have thought Aston Martin could go from second in the constructors down to fifth? It's highly possible. McLaren have got momentum. They're not even that far off Aston Martin now, to be honest. I think it's 39 points. I'm trying to work this out quickly. Um, yeah, it's 39. So, yeah, I think that's doable by McLaren. I really do. Unless Aston Martin finds some performance. It's been a sensational turnaround by McLaren. Really has. Everyone at the team should be proud. The drivers have done a great job. Zach Brown is doing a great job. I like Zach. Um, I like the way he goes about stuff, bringing the team together. But yeah, we can't get too carried away with podiums. McLaren need to start winning races and championships. And they have to start doing that. Otherwise, I think Lando will get pissed off and leave. A bit like Lewis did back in the day. So, yeah, McLaren, they've done brilliantly. But now, Red Bull, they are in a... You've got to push them. 
They're in a league of one at the minute, but if McLaren keep going on this trajectory, there's no reason why one of these drivers cannot be, well, hopefully, highly possible that one of these two drivers in Lando or Piastri can pick up their first win and they will be the next race winner. Personally, I hope it's Piastri. I was very happy for him he finally got some luck and got his podium at japan comment down below your thoughts on mclaren my team mclaren on the up and they need to keep it up